and brush her coat. But maybe there's a better way. So we went to the trusty Amazon website and we looked up some of the highest rated products for dog grooming. Links are below. Today we're gonna put them to the test. Woo! During our research, Dyson found out about our project and sent us a brand new Cyclone V10 Absolute Vacuum. Now if you have a dog like Andy who sheds a lot, a vacuum like this is super handy. I've had the V6 and the V8 and I use it all the time. I cannot wait to test this one out. Plus, Dyson sent us a dog grooming gadget. How cool is that? There's a brush attached to a hose. You connect it to the Dyson. As you brush your dog, the hair just sucks right up. Plus, we got some other great products. This is a water pick. The Pet One Pro says it pushes sun and dirt down the dog's body in one fluid motion. There's two settings, there's a gentle and a more powerful one. Knowing Andy, we'll probably use the more powerful one. She loves water. This looks like it's a more gentle way to clean your dog. I can't wait to see how well it cleans her. So hopefully we can get Andy real dirty and give her a spray down. Instead of using some of our usual dog towels, we're gonna use this. It's a dog Normally when Andy gets wet, she retains so much water in her coat. It has a hot and cold setting. Hopefully it's not too loud. Let's see. Woo! It's super lightweight. It's really easy, very portable. It's got a couple of different attachments. I can't wait to see the difference between a dryer and the towel that we normally use with Andy. Another product we found is the Five Finger De-Shedding Glove. It claims all you gotta do is pet the hair away. <laughs> we'll see if it works. The brush I use now is not made out of silicone, so I'm not too sure how this is gonna work. It's super soft. Doesn't hurt. This is gonna be so much fun, but first, we gotta get Auntie dirty. Shammy 
for Andy's face. We don't want to use that dryer on your face. Andy's all washed off and dried off. Oh, thank you, Andy. We're gonna go in and give that brush a try. We're gonna attach it to the Dyson. Andy. <laughs> Andy, come on. Let's go. We used the water pick, the dryer. Now it's time to give these a try. Pet and shed. Wow. I think she likes it. There is no shortage of hair on Andy. It's totally working. It's also getting all over me. Hmm. Hmm. They don't hurt Andy. They're super soft. But she's definitely trying to bite the glove with the pet and shed process. And I'm going very gentle. I'm not doing this hard at all. I mean, this is definitely working. You see the dog hair? We're gonna peel it off. Let's see. Ooh. Andy, it's your hair. I could even use it on her face. It's so gentle. Should we try something else? I think we should try the Dyson now. All right, ready to put the Dyson to the test. Here we go. Clip. Remember, you gotta push to get the brush. Andy's a little freaked out, so I'm gonna use some Cheerios to see if I can help her. Let's do a quick wrap up. I love the water pick. You can select a different pressure settings. I use the most powerful setting on Andy. It was easy to get under her legs, on her belly, and even over her head without getting water in her ears. I would definitely recommend that. For a dog like Andy, using shampoo and conditioner too often can really dry them out. So normally I just use water, but this time I did use some shampoo and conditioner because she had gotten so dirty and it had been a really long time since the last time I washed her like that. The doggy dryer. So Andy was a little afraid at first, but she got used to it pretty quickly. Andy has two coats, so when she gets wet, it's really hard to get her dry. The dryer definitely helped. It took a lot of that water out. I used it mostly on this part of her body. I didn't want to put it by her face or by her bum. And I finished it off with the chamois towel. The great thing about the dryer is you don't have to use as many towels. As long as your dog is not afraid of it, I think it's worth giving it a shot. After I was done with the dryer, one chamois towel was plenty enough to get the rest of her body pretty dry. The pet and shed gloves work great. I just use it outside next time so I don't have dog hair all over myself and the couch. And Andy seemed to really like them. Andy, we're not done with our video. The Dyson is an amazing product and such a great idea. I just think I need to train Andy just a little bit to get more comfortable with it. She's totally fine with the vacuum cleaner sound, but the brush has a little bit sharper bristles than what she's used to, so I think she was a little freaked out by that. But I love how it collects all the dog hair. The link to all these products are in the description below. Remember, every dog is different, so if you think your dog might be scared, just be smart. Slowly wean them in and try to use it. Thanks so much for these products. Special shout out to Dyson for sending us the Cyclone V10 Absolute. Our house is gonna be so clean, we're not gonna have any dog hair. Thanks so much for watching Andy the Lab. We hope you enjoyed this video. What products do you use to help groom your dog? Let us know, leave a comment down below. And don't forget, new videos every other Friday. Turn on notifications so you know when we post a new video. And don't forget to subscribe. Right, Andy? And follow Andy on Instagram. We post daily pictures and some short videos on there too. Thanks again. We'll see you next time. Bye.